Hello there friend, in this video I'm gonna show you how to reupholster a golf car seat bottom. I'm going to unbolt the plastic armrest right side and left side. The number of the bolt is uh, number 10 and the two aluminum hooks left and right okay. after that i'm gonna start to unstaple the trim plastic color black in this case if you don't have the properly tools you can use a driver screwdriver like flat and then try to do it little by little and before i tell you that I already use it that's why I suggest don't worry you don't have like the specific tools to take the staple off anyways you can unstaple with any tools like sharp once you pull all the staple off just remember collect all them because that is dangerous it gets to get through into your body and then uh, you have to go to the hospital because it's rusted and it's a big problem for you this is the technique how to unstable and it'll take time you will spend like a, an hour or two hours so depend how many staples you have to take to take up and then once uh, all the staple up you you have to uh, take the cover off and we're gonna clean all the rest of the staple in this place what i'm trying to do is i reveal that the foam like a white and after that i try to copy the panel over the new material this is the way how it is and uh, we have to draw a line all around and then we mark the small cut on right on the edge that will help us to put it together with the other another side and then uh, just remember don't cut um, next to the lines and, and uh, because that's it will get bigger that's why I rather to cut inside inside and left the, the line with the rest of the material right there what i'm trying to do is cut the inside the chalk i'm gonna leave with the rest of the vinyl and um, if you want to cut like a uh, one of an eight uh inside inside of the market that's fine that's that good because sometimes the old pattern it's already stretched and then the, if you copy exactly what uh, what is the the old pattern that's that it's gonna be a problem for you that's why don't cut uh, don't cut behind the line inside front of the line leave it with the rest of the material and uh, in this situation I'm just a ruler, uh, ruler to mark straight line because that's um, that's how it is that's how it comes from factory and then uh, because if we don't use that type of tools uh, if we uh, try to copy just exactly how it was the old cover it's not gonna look nice the job what we do and then that's why I'd rather to use a uh, ruler to make a straight line in this case I'm using um, half of an inch you know it's a quarter of an inch foam and then after that I'm gonna put another half of half of an inch foam and that will will be total is a three quarter three quarter foam because I'm just trying to to cook to give more cushion as the old pattern the old pattern he had a, a three quarter of an inch foam 
uh, but the foam the foam from factory it's uh, it's not good quality but this pink foam it's really really rec I recommend it to use because it's a good density foam and lasted more than other like a gray or softer it doesn't uh, give you uh, more cushion uh, the, the after all at the end the cover heel it's not comfortable I like to use this type of foam because this is good it's good quality I I used to use the like a uh, yellow foam or white foam but this that wasn't good anymore for me what I'm trying to do right now is uh, I'm gonna cut the stripe of the uh, the piping the size is uh, one inch and a quarter that's that's the size of the ruler and uh, later to, to put the piping around these panels what I'm doing right now is I am stitching all right on the edge of the vinyl because uh, that's helped me a lot when I put it together and um, right now this is the insert gray that I have to stitch to and then I will trim all the rest of the pink foam and after that I'll do the line the straight line and this is the process how to do a cover any cover but uh, most muscles mostly um, this is the technique that what we have and or we are different different people who works in this type of job and um, uh, what I'm trying to do right now it's I'm trying to do the straight line and that will take a few minutes to explain and then um, don't forget uh, change your thread because uh, to use like a light thread with a uh, dark color is not look good and then that's why we, ch we, we have to change the thread and uh, uh, right here I'm trying to uh, mark which goes front which goes back and uh, that's later on no guessing and uh, this is the way how to put the piping around the panels and then after that I'll put it together the two the one side panel and then the top and uh, you'll see in a few seconds how did I, I put it together with the insert color gray and uh, here it is this is the insert with the piping already and like uh, the original like uh, the old pattern with the pleats the insert and uh, right here I already okay uh, I'm gonna try to put it back on and uh, all the velcro it's gonna be fit right there and uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, make sure stick stick exactly where where the old one was and uh, right here the first of all we have two staples exactly where the seam <clears throat> or where the, the piping is and uh, you have to pull as hard you can and then uh, after that and uh, I speed it uh, and this uh, my battery gets low that's why I didn't uh, record all the process how to pull the cover but um, this is almost the end I almost um I, I just need to put the plastic color black the trim and uh, that's protect the edge of uh, the wood that is sometimes you kick with uh, another thing and then you probably cut that's why just for that reason this plastic goes around 
and uh, right here we have to use another um, staple like a long one you have and then, then I will put the hinge all the and the right side and then the left side and uh, after that we put we put back the plastic the armrest plastic and uh, in this case just the bottom we did because the backrest is okay just for the rip at the side that you saw thank you for watching the video and don't forget subscribe and uh, comment if you want and then this how it looks thank you bye bye